the $30 billion vitamin industry is on shaky ground. Recent findings published in the Annals of Internal Medicine reveal that many supplements, including popular vitamins and minerals, don't just lack clear benefits, they could even be detrimental to your health. It turns out, getting your nutrients from your daily diet is often the smarter choice, though some supplements can address specific individual needs. Multivitamins? Time to forget about them. No credible study backs their effectiveness. And the idea that one formula could meet everyone's needs is as impractical as expecting a single underwear size to fit all. A 150-pound construction worker and a high-intensity training swimmer have vastly different vitamin requirements, so why would they take the same supplement? Vitamins A, D, E, and K are fat-soluble and should be consumed with food for best absorption. Iron, on the other hand, should steer clear of coffee or tea, as tannins can block its uptake. And did you know that iron can inhibit the absorption of zinc and copper? Or that vitamin E and A might negate the effects of vitamin K? These interactions highlight the complexity of nutrient absorption. Perhaps it's time to consider that nutrients weren't meant to be isolated. They may be most effective when consumed as part of whole foods, where they can work in concert with other vitamins and phytochemicals. So before you reach for that pill bottle, think about reaching for a fruit or vegetable instead. Excessive calcium intake beyond 1,000 milligrams per day isn't just unnecessary, it's potentially harmful. This surplus doesn't just vanish, it accumulates in the body with some unsettling effects. Imagine the lining of your heart and arteries resembling tiled walls. That's the alarming image of what too much calcium can do as it starts to build up in these crucial areas, potentially leading to cardiovascular issues. The risks extend to your kidneys, where excess calcium can crystallize into painful stones. Even if it doesn't go that far, you might find yourself dealing with constipation as a milder, yet still uncomfortable side effect. Your body knows best when it comes to calcium from whole foods like dairy products. It has a fail-safe system that limits mineral absorption when you've had enough. But with supplements, there's no such mechanism. The more calcium you consume, the more it ends up where it shouldn't, in your urine, blood, heart, and kidneys. Stick to natural sources to keep your calcium intake in check. Vitamin D, often hailed as the sunlight vitamin, is a crucial player in our overall health. A study from the Annals of Internal Medicine has revealed a stark reality. Those with a deficiency in vitamin D who aren't supplementing have a significantly increased risk of death from all causes, particularly cancer. While the study's reliance on self-reported dietary recall over several years may raise eyebrows concerning accuracy, the consensus is clear. Vitamin D matters. Supplements. Ideally, soaking up the sun for a daily dose of 20 minutes would be enough to keep our vitamin D levels in check. But let's face it, not everyone can turn into a sunbathing seal every day, especially those living far from the equator where the sun's rays are too weak during winter months to produce the necessary UVB wavelengths. For those who can't catch enough natural light, or for the dedicated gym enthusiasts, who are more familiar with the glow of fluorescent bulbs than the sun's warmth, a year-round vitamin D supplement might just be the ticket to maintaining optimal health. Remember, when the sun's a no-show, vitamin D doesn't have to. Vitamins are a complex topic, with some being essential and others not as necessary. Let's dive into the nuances of vitamin B3, also known as niacin, and its role in our health. Niacin stands out for individuals over 40 or those grappling with cholesterol issues. Recent studies have illuminated its prowess in lowering cholesterol levels, rivaling statins but without the unwanted side effects. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but for those it benefits, niacin is a game-changer in managing cholesterol. Moreover, niacin is one of only two treatments, the other being a costly $14,000 a year drug that effectively combats lipoprotein A. This under-tested lipoprotein can significantly increase the risk of heart disease when levels are high, making niacin's ability to counteract it a vital asset in cardiovascular health. Vitamin C, hailed as a cure-all for colds and flu, may not live up to its reputation. Despite popular belief, research doesn't strongly back the claims of its effectiveness in preventing illness or speeding up recovery. Ironically, taking too much vitamin C can backfire, transforming it from an antioxidant to a pro-oxidant, harming rather than helping by scavenging free radicals. However, it's undeniable that a lack of vitamin C can impair your immune system. The key is balance. Your body needs just enough to function optimally. And there's no need to rely on supplements alone. Nature offers abundant sources. 
For a vitamin C boost, reach for citrus fruits, or better yet, kiwi, the unsung hero with the highest vitamin C content readily available. Vitamin E was once hailed as a cancer-preventing miracle, but recent findings tell a different story. A landmark study involving 36,000 men revealed a startling truth. Vitamin E supplements may actually increase the risk of prostate cancer. It's quite easy to get enough vitamin E from your regular diet, no need for additional supplements, researchers concluded. Instead of reaching for the pill bottle, consider goose meat, the richest source of vitamin E. Nuts, seeds, avocados, and various fish are also excellent natural providers of this essential nutrient. Did you know that over 85% of Americans fall short on magnesium, a mineral that's vital for our well-being? The situation is even more critical for high-intensity athletes who lose significant amounts through sweat. This deficiency isn't just a minor hiccup. It's a roadblock to optimal health and performance. Magnesium is a powerhouse, involved in over 300 biochemical reactions. It's essential for energy production, protein synthesis, and insulin metabolism. Running low on magnesium? You might face an uphill battle with lactic acid buildup, muscle cramps, sluggish recovery, and compromised exercise performance. Plus, it can throw a wrench in your weight loss efforts. Enter ZMA, a supplement designed to replenish your magnesium levels. Not only does it tackle the symptoms and side effects of deficiency, but it also packs a punch for your workouts. A study revealed that when paired with high-intensity training, ZMA can skyrocket testosterone levels by an impressive 25%. So drink up on magnesium and feel the difference in your health and training results. Zinc, a mineral with conditional essential properties, plays a pivotal role in our health. While zinc deficiency was once widespread, its inclusion in products like toothpaste and eye drops has made it less of a concern. However, it's still crucial for certain groups, such as athletes, who may experience lower testosterone levels due to insufficient zinc. Incorporating zinc into your daily regimen, whether through diet or a multi-mineral supplement, can be a game changer for maintaining your well-being. It's not just about correcting a deficiency, it's about optimizing your body's performance and resilience. And here's a compelling reason to keep zinc on your radar. Studies have consistently shown that zinc can reduce both the duration and severity of the common cold. So next time you're feeling a bit under the weather, Reaching for that zinc supplement might just be your shortcut to recovery. Antioxidants are the body's defenders, shielding our cells from damage caused by various stressors like UV radiation and pollution. They play a crucial role in preventing DNA damage and cell self-destruction. However, the benefits of antioxidants come with conditions. While they are essential, the body may struggle with processing a large intake of popular antioxidants like vitamin C, E, or N-acetylcysteine. It's not just about consuming antioxidants, it's about consuming them right. Timing, dosing, and selecting the appropriate antioxidant are critical. Overdoing it can lead to an unexpected twist, the complete elimination of free radical leakage. This might sound good, but it's not. It can trigger cell apoptosis, the very thing antioxidants are meant to prevent. So what's the best approach? Diversity is key. Eating a variety of fruits and vegetables provides a balanced mix of antioxidants, rather than relying on a single supplement. And for those busy days, vegetable powder blends can be a convenient way to ensure you're getting your daily veggie quota. Remember, when it comes to antioxidants, it's all about balance and variety. Probiotics promise a smoother functioning gut by introducing beneficial bacteria, but the reality isn't so straightforward. Like a fingerprint, your gut's bacterial population is unique making a one-size-fits-all approach less effective than you might hope. Even with regular supplementation, these probiotic bacteria may simply pass through your system without taking hold. And there's a catch. Probiotics are often refrigerated to stay viable. A single slip in temperature control during transport can render them inactive as they turn to cannibalism when starved. With mixed research and potential pitfalls, some turn to yogurt or homemade probiotic-rich foods. These options are not only more budget-friendly, but also sidestep the risks associated with commercial probiotic supplements. For those seeking to support their gut health, fermented foods like kimchi, kombucha, and fermented cabbage may be the answer. They're packed with prebiotic bacteria and can be easily added to your diet, offering a glimmer of hope for those looking to nurture their gut ecosystem naturally.